welcome back to Danganronpa. You guys, last episode left off. We did character introductions, had some fun figuring out who the heck these characters were, what they did, blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, now, we have opportunities to talk to certain characters before we're heading to the gym. I think this is about the time where we should start kind of thinking about who, what, when, where, why, um, and talk to a couple of these people before we go. Um, something weird is going on, right? Like, it's not just me, right? Like, there's no way that I'm the only one that thinks this. No, you're not the only one that thinks it. Don't worry. Don't worry, Sayaka. I almost want to talk to Kyo Taka, just because. You never know. What the hell is going on? Is this some kind of bad joke? Okay, so they're just giving one-liners. Tight-lipped girl, Kyoko. Listen. I know how you feel, but all we know and all we can do is check it out right now. I don't care about fanfiction writer dude right now. Sakura, I'm not worried about. Mondo, how are you feeling about this? Dude, shit. What the hell kind of game are they playing? Okay, so this is basically go to the gym. Cool. Yeah, leave the area. Let's go to the gym. Let's figure out how to get to the gym first. Why? To see our map and the gymnasium. Okay, so this is one thing I do like about this game so far is that it's super easy or pretty fairly easy. Whoa. I'd better make my way to the gym. I need to find out what's going on first. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's true. We need to find out what's happening, but. What is going on? This almost looks like a shop, not a gym. That's funny. Hey, come on. God, I had no idea this Hope's Peak Academy place was going to be such a pain in my balls. It really ain't that much different from the time I spent in Doobie Hell. This place is even worse. Uh, um... And then why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, didn't see a single person. This is bad. This Isn't this, like, seriously not good? <laughs> They're just trying to spook us. They're all in their mental plates down later. I'm sure of it. All we can do is hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Ugh, shit. The hell, I ain't scared of nothing. Let's get this over hey, with. Damn it. Hey, whoever, oh, here's looking? whoever called it. What, I don't even, I didn't even read it fast enough. Mondo, stop. Well then. I too shall go. <laughs> hey, wait, don't leave me alone. Okay, time for some tutorial, more tutorial action. Press the Y button to deserve the room that you're in. Observing will display what people, objects, y you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. Oh, okay. So if it's pink, I can... It's a person I can talk to. And if it's blue, I can... It's an item thing. This school has a lot of TVs. Couldn't they all just be for that weird school broadcast, couldn't they? They could all just be for the weird school broadcast, couldn't they? Oh, that's the door. Still filled with uneasy dread, I need. I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. And then I saw what was waiting for us there. Oh, it really it does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See, I told you, totally normal entrance ceremony stuff, yada yada. Kiro is right. But in a way, that ju just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Hey there, howdy, hello. Is everyone here? Good. Then let's get things rolling. I kind of wanted to investigate more on Monokuma. Can I go back and see what's going on? Oh, he is so tiny. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! <laughs> and I am this school's headmaster. It was the strangest thing I'd ever seen. Right before my eyes, it was. What I was seeing was utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all.
such a bright voice, a carefree attitude was completely out of place. And all of my anxiety I had been carrying with me suddenly transformed into outright fear. Say what? That teddy bear can talk? <laughs> Calm down, I am sure. There's a speaker inside of it. Per the huge. Hey, come on now. I told you already that I am not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma, your headmaster. Say what? It moved. <sighs> Shit. Seriously, man, calm down. It's probably a remote control toy or something. <sighs> How dare you compare me to a child's plaything? You cut me so deep, deeper than the Mariana Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex that even folks at NASA can't recreate or comprehend it. <sighs> But don't make me say stuff I, that might destroy NASA's dreams. I just couldn't bear it. Okay, what is with bears making bear jokes? Like, honestly. Well. Bear that. Really? You are unfortunate. Hmm. Now then, moving on. We really must hurry and get this Come started. On. Giving up already. There is no other stupid bear puns. Now then. Quiet down, quiet down, quiet down. Uh, okay, so... Hmm. He just abandoned the gag like that? Good morning! Everyone stand at attention and bow. And good morning. Good morning! What's your problem? You, you don't have to say it back. Now then. Let us commence with the most noteworthy, memorable entrance ceremony. First, I will let's talk about a bit of your school life. Here we'll here we, is where we'll be. Now there make no mistakes. You few students are so full of potential, represent the hope of the world, and to protect such splendid hope. You will live a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and the regulations of the school. Huh? Hmm. And now then, regarding the end date for this communal Dad. life, there isn't one, actually. In other words, you'll be here until the day you die. Such a school life you've been assigned. <laughs> whoa, 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 what did he just say? Until the day we die. Yep. Oh, but fear not. I've been quite. I'm a. Qu we have a quite an abundant budget, so you won't lack all the common conveniences. Uh, hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Mm. Like, what the heck? Yeah. What the hell are you saying? I have to live here forever. You're screwing with us, right? I am not screwing with you. I'm no liar. Of that, you can be a hundred percent sure. Uh huh. Ah. Uh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about the dirty, dirty land beyond the walls ever again. Cut off? So all these metal plates all over the school? They're to keep us trapped in here? That's exactly what they're for. No matter how much you may yell, scream, or help, for help, help will never come. So, with all that in mind, feel free to live out the rest of your life with reckless abandon. Hey, come on. Come on, what the hell is this? I don't care if this school or whoever else is behind it all. It's really a bad joke. Damn yeah, you. Yeah, this sh It isn't funny anymore. Unbelievable. You keep saying this is a lie, you're a joke, or a bunch of... S you're a bunch of skeptics, what all of you. you? But I guess I can't help it, huh? Y'all grew up in an age where you were taught to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll have plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when that time comes, you'll be able to be on your own eyeballs that I speak with undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. Having to live here forever would be quite the problem. Yes. Come on now, what's the matter with you all? Have you decided that your own free will attend Hope's Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, even before the entrance ceremony is finished, you've decided that you want to leave? Hey, oh, um... but, you know, I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is a way for you to leave the school, after all. But really? Actually... As headmaster, I've crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it the graduation clause. Now, then. now let me tell you a little fun about a little... Or this fun little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain the environment of harmony, we will rely on the communal lifestyle. And then, so if someone were to disrupt that harmony, they and they alone would be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What, what do you even mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, you know, if one person were to murder another. Murder? Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hackling, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't even matter. You just must kill someone if you want to leave. It's, it's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest of you, rest is up to you. Give it all to archive the best outcome in the worst way possible. A chill shot down my spine. You must kill someone if you want to leave. As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that got your brain juices flowing. Beats the heck out of a human catching a salmon, huh? It's like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world. But you know, taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates darkness and a shadow of despair. Extreme! And I just find that so exciting! What the hell? What the hell are you talking about? To kill each other? It's, huh? it's... To kill each other is to kill each other. I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it. What are you saying? We know what it means. That's not the problem. Why do we have to even kill each other in the first place? Yeah, stop blabbering with this nonsense. Not just let us go home already. Blabbering. Oh boy. Blabbering, blabbering. What do you mean blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on. How strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go. Let us go. You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over. Listen, from this moment on, the school is your home, your life, and your world. Got it? Yahoo! And you can kill as much as you want to kill. So go ahead and go on a kill, kill, killing spree. Uh, All right, come on. How long are you going to keep this up for? Hmm? Eh. You know? You got us, okay? You scared the hell out of us. And, you know, you can go ahead and reveal the trick now. It's huh? fine. Reveal the trick? I'm right. Yeah, because I mean, you know, this is some kind of trick and all, right? So, uh, like... <sighs> Shit. Dude, get out of my way. Shoving hero aside, Mondo places himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. You're fucking dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Mondo. What's the matter? Joke? What do you mean? I like your hair? Oh, wow. Mondo roared out with a sudden boom, and that sound of the floodboards as he kicked off and launched himself into the air. He flew at Monokuma as fast as a bullet. He locked his on his target. Gotcha, you little piece of shit. I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds. What? Violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! But I thought you could kill anybody, Monokuma. Doesn't that mean you? Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! What? No smartest combat this time? Piece of shit! Stop that beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out. Get rid of it. Huh? Hurry up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without words, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma, and as soon as he did... The hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears, and I could smell gunpowder. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but this was real life. And I'd never seen anything right. like it. But, but, you know, this means that that teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you, I'm not a teddy bear. I'm Monokuma! Huh? Oh, another one? Damn you! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Well, yes, I was serious about trying to kill you. You did violate one of the school regulations, after all. I'll let you off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates any of my rules won't get off with a little swat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so, does this mean there's, like, a bunch more of you around somewhere? Yep. 
Monica has been placed throughout the school. Yes, yes, yes. Plus, I don't, if, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught breaking any rules, well, you just saw what'll happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I won't be forgiving with any punishment next time. So don't let it happen again. Huh? Th that's not even a punishment. That's just wrong. Well? Well, now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry into the school, I have a little something for you. This is the official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally, we call it the e-handbook. Uh, yes, well, moving on. This handbook is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it. When you start it up, it'll display your name, always to make sure you have the right one. Now, this isn't your everyday notebook, so it has many more uses than that. Also, it is completely waterproof. Splash it, wash it, drown it, and it'll keep ticking. And thanks to the Space Age design, it'll withstand the impact force of up to 10 tons. Very resistant. It contains all of our school regulations, so make sure you review them thoroughly. You You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Shing. Rules restrict, yes. And they're also to protect society, for example. Would it be utter chaos without laws? <laughs> Same thing applies here, which is why it's crucial we have strict punishments in this place for violators. Okay, well, this brings the entrance ceremony to a close. Okay. Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life, and see ya! And with that, he was gone, leaning us in a stare of shock. So, guys, how would you define what exp what we just experienced? What the crap? How, how, oh, I don't understand any of this. <laughs> we have... Uh, to I uh, live here forever or kill? <laughs> what? What just happened? Calm down. Everyone, just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we have just heard. Based on what Mama Ku Monokuma said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one, we stay here, living a communal life together until the day we die. Or the other choice, which is... Indeed. If we want to get out of here alive, we have to kill somebody, right? That's... But killing someone, that's... that's... <laughs> we were abducted out of nowhere. Stuffed into this place, which meant to look like a school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? Like, this is, like, crazy. Like, this is... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous. Anyway, a lie is what it is. A ridiculous... All these ridiculous things that we've heard... This is all has to be just too fake. Hmm. Right. And now it doesn't matter if it's real or fake. What matters is, so in other is words, there anyone here who's seriously considering this? To that, nobody had a response. Keep quiet myself. I looked, keeping quiet to myself, I looked around at the others. They all had started or stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. I could almost taste the hostility, and that's when it hit me. I realized the true terror hidden within the rules Monokuma had laid out. You must kill somebody if you want to leave. Those words had planted vicious thoughts deep within each one of us. Each of us had become suspicious of everyone else. We were forced to wonder, is somebody going to betray us? And that's how my new school life began. This school, which had come out of nowhere to raise my hopes so high was not a school of hope. It's a school of despair. Surviving Students 15. Oh, to be continued. Well, this was a shorter episode than the last episode, but I'm sure you guys will enjoy. Oh, here, have the intro. Um, while I kind of talk over the prologue, this is the intro, and so, it, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna let me know that I can kick to chapter one now. Ooh, okay. So, basically, I talked to Shy Soul a little bit, um, about my thoughts currently, between episodes. I really like Sayaka and Leon, that, it's funny that they're on the same page. Um, and I'm hoping that those two stick together. And stay with us. I think that Hiro will is sketchy at the current moment, just because he's so out there and like so worrisome. Monokuma, I like. Toko is scary. Mondo is fine. Um, 
It's going to be a very interesting situation. So, I'm really hoping that there's no other things going on. I don't think there will be, so I will just go ahead and hit the start so that we don't, like, run into any cutscenes. You got the school crest as a present. It just got to run through, run through of all the characters. You want to save data? But yeah, in the next episode, we will be taking care of parts of chapter one. Not the whole thing, because this seems like a like two episodes per chapter thing. That would be kind of cool. Uh, I think that would work out very well for us. But yeah, see you guys next time.